Today we're going to go over 36 individual designs you guys can copy right now. There's nothing particularly that I want to go over today. It's just to show you guys some cool designs that I've been creating that I want you guys to use for your own. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So the first section that we have here is going to be this big feature section that involves some numbers here. And then the H1 is actually smaller than this number. Now I've created this design to look a little bit more like some garden kind of style, but it can be whatever you guys want, honestly. Now, what I think is really cool about this and a use case for this, in my opinion, would be something that relates to these two numbers, because I do think that this and then the image is going to be what drives in the attention the most. But anyways, on to the next one, we have a big, big piece of text here that's going to captivate the attention. We have another big piece of imagery here. And then these people or this these imageries that we want to add in can be either link blocks or just simple div blocks that kind of appear and showcase something that we want to showcase. But again, this can be absolutely anything you guys need. Now, this can also be in if we go ahead and make that a fill instead, we can kind of make this to be whatever we need it to be, right? It can kind of be hanging out around the right side. It can be in the middle. It can actually be whatever we need it to be. Now let's go on to the next one. And this is going to be a more subdued kind of style. But I think it's cool because although it has these kind of subtle grays and the imagery isn't that all that fantastic compared to this one, and it's not that bright and, and crazy, it does have a different vibe to it. Now, if we imagine an entire site where it has this look and feel, it feels very professional, very polished and something that could be used for perhaps a higher budget client, something like that. Next up, we have this big feature section that involves these big numbers here and also this very important image. Now, I think that this section would only make sense if we had a very good image. Now, this image, I got it from Unsplash, but if you guys have custom photography that you want to add to your own sites, this could be the kind of image or this can be the kind of section that actually brings all the intention in and says, look, this is our main offering. This is what we do. In this case, it would be space insurance, for example, right? So a second Section like this can help us define that imagery in this one specific place. The next section is a portfolio section. So this, if you can imagine a individual portfolio page where each portfolio piece is a fixed section. In this case, we would click next project and it would move over the text and the image and all the content. Now we are in process of actually developing this for Tilebit and it will come out soon. Sorry, it's not out yet. But anyways, this kind of section is super powerful because you can showcase everything they need without having to have people scroll. This hero header is great to help people add a little bit more motion in their projects. If you can imagine that these assets are maybe slightly rotating on scroll or with a parallax, they kind of scroll up. And also these buttons could maybe be instead of completely fill, we can make them something like that. So we're kind of playing around with if we have something that is animating like this, maybe upon animation, it, it kind of scrolls over and this can be, let's see here, exclusion, something like that, I guess. But again, we need to take a little bit closer look, maybe black, maybe full blur. Yeah, not too sure on the spot here. But anyways, this would be a great site or a great hero header to kind of add in all that imagery, very simple text. But I think the parallax and the, the animation is what could really drive this one to be very cool. Next one, I think this could hang in the balance of quote unquote unique, but I do think that the way that it is designed and developed make things very clear, very obvious. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because it's not unique, but either way, I think it's a very cool looking section. Now this one involves a sidebar that's going to help us deliver that information on sites that don't necessarily have that typical top header nav. So in this case, we have this side nav here that's going to have the menus, the come visit us, and then a couple of links that we have here. But again, this is going to be something that might be useful to sites that have a little bit of a crazier, unique layout. But in most cases, you're just going to have that typical nav. So use this one cautiously. Next up is going to be one of my favorite ones here. This is a really cool stat section. Now you could use this for a couple of awards that you've won, maybe some features that you've had. So for example, if you've been featured on awards.com or some newspapers or something like that, it can be like three times awards, you know, something like that. That could be a very cool use case for this. But again, this is something that with stats, you can make this look super, super nice. Now, next up is a little bit of a longer section that we do use some great imagery. If you don't have the best imagery, then I don't think that it's the best section to use just because it's front and center. And next up, we have this text here. The text is secondary, right? The image is what's selling the section. So if you don't have a really good image, then I would stray away from this one. Next up is going to be a portfolio section that I think could be really cool if you animated it with this kind of hover effect. Now here I added just some of my stuff, like for example, Tilebit, uh, my agency, YouTube and Russell Dan Academy that I'm launching soon, if you guys want to check that out. But this could be cool where on hover, we change the preview of the image. Now this section has been done many, many times, but this is just my take 
take on it. Next up is gonna be a hero header with some immediate feature elements. So this is a new kind of design school where we have these icons come up, the certificate, the dedicated platform, the rich course library, the learn by doing, the tile bit subscription, but all these things is kind of secondary to that big H1 text and also that subtext. If we don't have this, then it kind of just feels like any other text. And of course we have this blue background that's adding to this kind of Gaussian blur gradient. Let me see how we did that here. So we added a shadow and then the background blur as well. So if we go ahead and delete that, we'll see that it's not as captivating because that blue is really getting pulled in with that blur. Next up is gonna be a super minimal section that I think could be best used for sites that don't have too many animations, too many colors. Actually color could be cool here if we, Instead of white, made this maybe like a salmon. Even that, never mind, color would be quite cool here. But I think adding the black and white with the contrast of the yellow makes sense. If we wanted to add some 3D elements, that could also make sense. But again, this is a very simple and minimal design. So maybe what it does need is a little bit of complexity rather than keeping it super minimal. But I also think that if you kept it minimal, it would be fine. But anyways, a little bit of text here. And then on scroll, this is enticing you to see who the squad is. That's gonna be enticing to captivate the audience. Let me go ahead and make make this not clipped. So now we can actually see the rest of it if we so desire. So yeah, that's gonna actually allow us to scroll past the clipped path and see who's actually involved with this with this team. For this mega nav, I think the idea is to explore our case studies or to showcase the most recent projects at first glance, be able to click on it and see actually what's involved with this. But if you wanna go ahead and see the full case studies and we also have that button here on hover, I imagine it would change color or even, yeah, from, from a solid line to maybe blurred or something like that. But this kind of layout allows the user to just quickly glance at the most important links that you have available. And it doesn't need to be these case studies, but it could be different services that you guys provide. It could be different case studies that you wanna showcase, of course, but there's a lot of different use cases for this kind of nav. And this is the white version as well. This feature section, not my favorite. I'm not gonna go over that one. So I think in terms of complexity and all that stuff, it's important to also keep things simple. So for example, this is a CMS filter and clickable kind of situation where we can actually book these tours, learn more about these specific locations around my city. And so I think that this kind of section makes sense for those that have a lot of different content and you wanna just be able to have people see that content clearly and visually, this is a good way of doing that. One of these more kind of quirky designs where you have some big fat lettering, maybe for, for the name of the store, maybe for where you are, who you stand for. I mean, this could be done in a million different ways. For example, if we have integral CF. Now this is another font that we can use for this kind of thing. But I mean, yeah, we can go pretty deep with this one. Maybe we can make this centered. Let's see here, make that centered like that. Yeah, it feels more like a, like a concept store and it's kind of cool. So yeah, that could work. Now I also talked about using that mega nav with other different ways than case studies. This is a good example here. So we have the coffee innovation in the background. It's the same layout that I used before for the Outback one. But in this case, we're using it for coffee. For this mega nav, we're using the different coffee types or the different coffee services that they offer. So for example, they sell artisanal blends, they sell brewing excellence, coffee workshops, all these different things are at a quick first glance when you hover over these navs, then you can see everything that they offer. And then if you want, you can go ahead and click on more of these maybe less important links or less in your face links. This team section allows you to be a little bit more free with the layout. You don't need to say, okay, this is this person, name, email, blah, 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 LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. This is kind of just, you know, this is the team, this is who's involved. And as you scroll, you get to see more people and it's it's less like a CMS filter like we had before a more just kind of casual background thing. Now this next one is a redesign that I did for paddle.net because I use their services for Tilebit and so I'm kind of looking at their site a lot and I think that it could be improved with some more lighter design. So this is my take on it. Big H1, localize your customers with our new API. We created the ultimate customer tracker in the industry and this is just using some of the imagery that they have. Now this is mostly just fake stuff but I do think that the layout itself kind of allows the content to shine through. So in this case, we have this image here. These two images allow us to just focus on it. Apart from the H1, this is just gonna be the most important thing. And then if you wanted to get a closer look, you have these two buttons here. But again, the most important thing is gonna be these images. Now the last one is gonna be one that we took from a, an existing site. So this is not our, our original design, of course. But this is a section that I think is really important to take a look at because it kind of illustrates what I was talking about with the team section before. You know, we're showcasing all these different people. We get to see who's, in, who's involved, how many people are in the team, but it's not so clear cut and boring. And then this is a lot about what kind of company you have, in my opinion. If you're willing to kind of sacrifice a little bit with the uh, super boring layouts and you're willing to showcase a little bit more of your style and your, your kind of 
or swaz, then yeah, this is a cool way of doing it. But anyways, that has been maybe not 36, but 20 something layouts that you guys can copy right now if you guys wanted to. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this video, do let me know down below and I'll see you guys on the next one.